Hey guys, what's up? So, got a new tool. Just came in the mail here. I guess I don't want to break the surprise, but it's uh, kind of kind of wanted these for a while. Got a couple things I got to do. Uh, have to um, make some parts, and I'll show you what this is. What is it? It's a milling vise. So let me get this out of there real quick. So, it's a milling vise, and I got a bunch of little end mills. And uh, so basically this kind of, uh, it's designed to go on a, on a drill press. And it's designed to kind of act as like a machining mill. Uh, I have some parts I want to machine, you know, some, some metal stuff. Um, some aluminum, and uh, so this is about 40 bucks, $39, Amazon Prime. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's all cast iron. It opens up four inches. It's made by HFS, I guess. Part 6013 or 16037. And let me open this thing up. But let me show you my end mill real quick. So this is actually an end mill. So it's designed to go in a, a mill. It can basically cut metal from the side. So it goes through and you can go cut metal out as it's spinning just you can grind out metal from the side you don't have to drill straight down like a drill but you can go sideways and cut out metal so that's pretty cool um, yeah I, I wish I could have a real mill but I've been looking on Craigslist to see if I can find one cheap but I haven't found one yet yeah if I could find one for a couple hundred bucks I'd totally get it actually I'd like to love to get like a mill uh, laid combo that'd be cool um, and then I also have some of these drill stops, so I want to be able to attach these collars on the, on the mills. And uh, that way it's kind of like a stop, uh, drill stop, so I know exactly the depth I'm going, so I don't go over the depth. So, it's sort of like a depth gauge. But yeah, where'd my knife go? I'm going to open this up, take a look at it. And then I'll show you on my drill press and do a couple sample cuts and, you know, it kind of gives me... Hopefully, some very basic machining out of my drill press. So I can cut the things. Ah, sorry, my floor is a mess. There we go. Look at that. All right. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna get this on my drill press and uh, let's make some test cuts. All right. Guys, back here. My server is kind of noisy right now because it's hot in the garage. Um, in my other video, all, you, all my servers were moved to a color. But <clears throat> my computer servers, if you didn't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have it back here in my old uh, drill press. This thing is. I mean, I've, I've had this thing for like 15 years. So, got it like at a garage sale like 15 years ago. But yeah, it's been worked. It's worked fine ever since. You know, I never had a problem with it. So, a couple little, you know, like a little thing on there. But yeah, so right now I don't have like. Normally you'd actually have this bolted down to the uh, table here. Um, but I, I'm just using my, uh, because I don't really want to just kind of play with it and test it. I just have my uh, vice script here on there. And uh, so the concept is here is I want to be able to go back and forth. I want to use that end mill right there to go back and take out a notch. Notch this thing out like that. Boom. Cut it. Um, so I've never done before this before, so uh, don't laugh at me, I guess. <laughs> Can I lube this up a little bit? Okay, so I hope this works. This is kind of cool. 40 bucks. Kinda, I mean, it's obviously not going to be as precise as a real mill, but I mean, for what I'm doing, I don't need that, I guess, yet. I right, don't laugh. I don't know what's going to even happen right now. No clue. All right, I'll be slowly. Oh. Okay, that's not. Okay, oh, really tighten that down. I'm using this, trying this thing down here. Ah, I really wanted to pick that up. I don't know, is that too, too, too extreme, I guess? A bit? I 
I have to slow it down a little bit. If I go too fast, it. I guess I gotta go really slow. I think I'm trying to take out too much material. Maybe that bit's too big, I don't know. this is a steel bit you know this is not like um, actually this might be kind of harder tubing you know like it's a like a, I don't know if it's like dom tubing this was for a roll cage so it might be yeah it might be a harder kind of steel here let me see if I can find something a little bit easier to mill here so I'm gonna try a smaller mill bit here I mean this is obviously a lot smaller but um, I think it's just gonna be take, take some practice you know the main thing I, I think it's, it's not to go too fast So you have to go pretty slow. So this, I mean, this is, I guess this is hard. I mean, most likely I'm probably gonna be using aluminum if I'm doing this stuff. So hopefully that'll go faster because it's much softer metal. But like I said, I'm a total rookie here. Um, don't really have very much. I mean, I've always wanted to learn how to machine, but you know, like back in my, uh, right before I went to high school, they got rid of their machine shop. I went to a high school called Newport Harbor in Newport Beach, California, and, uh, you know, maybe, not right before, I guess, you know, maybe a couple, like a generation, maybe, uh, a, maybe like five to ten years before I went to high school there, man, they, they used to have a killer machine shop there, massive machine shop, and kind of sucks they don't teach machine shop anymore in high school, at least all the ones I went to, or all the local ones here in Orange County, California, but, yeah, dude, it's, it's, a. Uh, I don't know why they don't teach that, but they don't teach people how to make shit here anymore, you know? You know, they expect you to be a fucking banker or scientist or something. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, we gotta get that going again, man. It's a freaking good skill to have. All right, um, all right, cool. I guess uh, I guess I'll have some fun. I don't know. I'm play around with it a little bit. I don't know. Seems like fun. Cool. All right, let me have any questions, man. All right, later. That yeah, guy's back. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to try a piece of aluminum here. Um, this is like an old piece of my my transmission pan that I modified in a different video. Um, all right, let's try this. I think it still needs to get itself worked in a little bit. It's tight in some areas.
Yeah, it's not fully mounted down. I think it'd be more stable if it was bolted. And then that's vibrating too. Yeah, once I feel like I'm getting cutting, it starts to smooth out a little bit. Awesome. That was stupid. It moved out the, uh, it moved out of, well, this thing is not clamped. I mean, this thing is just sitting here with that thing right there, so that was my fuck up. All right. Let's look and see. Yeah, that was obviously my mess up, but let's take a look. So I'm trying to find my air compressor. Yeah, interesting. I wonder why it was kind of acting weird. It was pulling to the right. Yeah, I guess you need to have this really clamped down because I guess because it's spinning in one direction, it wants to pull to one side. But that's uh cool. Yeah, I mean obviously it's not going to be perfect, but. Once I kind of learn how to do this, it might be a little better. All right. 